Good evening, professor. Good evening, classmate. This is module 7, host group, Erika Mayerli Peraza, Sandra Jimena Santana, Lina Marcela Valencia, and Jose Alfredo Franco. Classroom management towards self-directedness was one of the most fascinated models from this course reflected teaching and learning context. The structure with the module overview at the beginning, the compiling resources, the activities, the assessment tools, and the real-time online session presentation. This is the welcoming by our professor Ternan. She reminds us about the implementation of the lesson plan and designing our action plan. Also, she appreciates the work done by previous model hosts, Angela, Natalia, Giovanni, and Julian, who did a compelling video about the sentence and phrase or thinking routines from our classmates. Our colleague Sandra Jimena Santana, welcome to the session. She added the aims for the module and shared two articles to explore and to be prepared for the for the topic and also a thesis. From the resources, the video hack school in makes me happy. Logan Planted 2013 says that schools are killing creativity. There is a need and an opportunity to change the way we educate kids, the way we learn to learn, and the way we teach. The term helps school in its creative way to look in learning outside of traditional school systems and learning methods, to examine how to learn, to challenge the way we learn, and, the, and to find better ways, creative ways with better results. In the video Creating Autonomy, Supportive Learning Environments, Dr. Stolk 2005 proposes three key areas to create autonomy supportive learning environments. Those areas are real tools, real choices, real trust. He describes them as the conditions that enable learners to make choices and feel control of their learning process. From the video Voices from the Field, Promoting Student Autonomy, Dr. Weger 2014 focuses the student's autonomy in four main aspects. Authentic as something that is reflective of what one might really do in the real world. Tax based for making connections across multiple activities that are all somehow connected. As helpful is what teachers do to take those learners through the tax to accomplish the goals. Multi level when there are multiple abilities in the same classroom. She describes how authentic and tax paid activities can scaffold learning in multiple level classes to promote the student's autonomy. In the activities, the Think Puzzle Explore Thinking Routine, our colleagues added so impressive and captivating proposals and questions from the topic. All of them offer answers to a very intrigued question our professor showed in her presentation in the module. This question was autonomy the aim of education? In this presentation by our professor Turner, she had a so interesting quote from Cami, who by the way has been one of the best writers I have read in order to understand very easy way autonomy. This cool presentation by our professor, she added very engaging explanation of the topic. Also, she added associated terms, and this image explained in a compelling way all of these terms. She added a receipt for promoting autonomy by Nuan 2003. Various advantages were discussed collaboration, cooperation, motivation, which is a key for this study, what to do. Finally, our professor finished her presentation with this statement. I strongly believe that it is our duty as teachers to empower our students with the strategies and skills they need in order to become better and more autonomous learners. Our job is to help them grow and thrive and to encourage them all the way. Thank you very much for your attention.